If elected president, Dr. Ben Carson, retired neurosurgeon and 2016 Republican presidential candidate, won't just continue the failed war on drugs, he says he'll intensify it. Of course, this isn't the first time Carson's proven that despite his soft-spoken demeanor and surgical expertise, he can still be as irrational as Donald Trump. Obamacare is really, I think, the worst thing that has happened in this nation since slavery. And it is, in a way, it is slavery, in a way. A lot of people who go into prison go into prison straight, and when they come out, they're gay. So did something happen while they were in there? I think the likelihood of, of Hitler being able to accomplish his goals would have been greatly diminished if the people had been armed. I would go after people with rocks and bricks and baseball bats and hammers, and of course, uh, many people know the story when I was 14 and I tried to stab someone. Another youngster angered me and I had a large camping knife and I, I tried to stab him in the abdomen. And fortunately he had on a large metal belt buckle under his clothing and a knife blade struck with such force that it broke and he fled in terror. But uh, I was more terrified as I recognized that I was trying to kill somebody over nothing. Last week, in an interview with Glenn Beck, Carson said he will absolutely continue the war on drugs if elected president. Not only that, but he will intensify the failed policies. When asked about cannabis legalization in particular, Carson simply said he disagrees with it. However, last year he explained his problems with the plant, saying, I think medical use of marijuana in compassionate cases certainly has been proven to be useful. But recognize that marijuana is what's known as a gateway drug. It tends to be a starter drug for people who move on to heavier duty drugs. And I don't think this is something that we really want for our society. You know, we're gradually just removing all the barriers to hedonistic activity. We're changing so rapidly to a different type of society and nobody is getting a chance to discuss it because it's taboo. It's politically incorrect. You're not supposed to talk about these things. Clearly, Carson is wrong. It is not taboo to be anti-cannabis. If it was, the plant would be legal. Carson's cannabis criminalization stance is backed by the strong arm of the law, whereas the opinion of a majority of Americans that cannabis should be legal is ignored by the federal government. Furthermore, the number of films, TV shows, books, media reports, and debates about weed in recent years by proponents and opponents alike is only increasing. But more appalling is Carson's insistence that the government should be regulating personal happiness, or so-called hedonistic activity. Considering today's Republican Party is all about deregulation in small government, it's a curious position to hold. 